And we're back with phase shifting. Thanks for watching. Whoa, I just shifted. Did you see that? Whoa, that was so fast. What? Hmm. Okay, here we go, number six. So we got two sine x plus three pi over two. Cool, let's label some things. So we've got our amplitude of two, that's important to know, as well as a midline of zero. Cool. And then our B value is just going to be 1. And so technically, our period, good. So our period is just going to be 2 pi over B, so just 2 pi over 1. Make sure it's recording the sound. Sound. Sweet. OK, so then our phase shift. So now that's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to add that here. Sweet. There we go. Um, so our phase shift. So our phase shift is going to take this part right here, do the opposite sign, so negative 3 pi over 2, and then divided by b. So in this case, this 1 right there. So divided by our b, val b value of 1, so divided by 1. Because our b value is 1. So that means we're just going to go left 3 pi over 2, which is the same as 1.5 pi, right? 3 halves, the same as 1.5. Cool. So then there's two ways to do this. Um, we can do the parent and then shift it over. That's my favorite way. So I'll probably just show it to you that way. But there's other ways too. And uh, so you can just kind of take the period itself, which is 2 pi, and then minus a pi and a half. And that could be your new period we're going to start. So that's, that's a pretty easy way too. I think on this one we'll do that way. And then on number 7 we'll show you the one with the parent function and then the shifting because that's... A lot better, actually. But this way, yeah, I like to do it this way. So we're going to take our period, 2 pi over 1, and then take our phase shift and subtract the 2. So 2 pi minus 1.5 pi is just 0.5 pi, right? 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1.5, and then bring our pi along for the ride. So 2 minus 1.5 is just 0.5 right, which is the same as just a half, right, times pi, um, which is just the same as pi over 2. Cool. So that's basically our new period that we're going to do this. Do this, do it. Cool. So that's our new period. And might as well just graph that then, because that'll make it easier for us. Um, I guess if you're still thinking about it, then the way of doing all the way to 2 pi and shifting it, you can still look at it that way. That'd be fun. Okay, so I still want to show the parent function. Okay, so our original before the phase shift, right, 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 um, was just 2 pi, divide that in half, just pi. And then we had an amplitude of just 2. So that means we're going to go all the way up to 2 and down to negative 2. Let's do dots. So we're going to go ahead and go up to 2, down to negative 2. Cool. And then we're going to go ahead and shift, right? This is the phase shift part. So we're going to go ahead and shift now, negative 1.5 pi, OK? So that means our new period that we're going to kind of finish off at should be pi over 2, right? So if this is pi, um, then this right here, if this is pi, then this right here should be pi over 2. And that's where we're actually going to finish off at, OK? So we're actually going to go ahead and finish off there at pi over 2 instead of 2 pi. Get it? So we're shifting a lot there. Cool. And so that means that um, if you kind of just think about this distance here to this distance, that's what we're going to do to here to negative pi over 2, right? And so then we're going to go, we're going to kind of go down to negative 2, up to pi over 2, and then finish off there. And what is there? Well, that's where the graph started. So instead of starting at 0, it's actually going to start off at our shift to the left, negative 1.5 pi. And so negative 1.5 pi, um, or in other words, um, negative 3 pi over 2, which is our phase shift. Cool. So we shifted back negative 3 pi over 2. And so if you want to see that again in slow motion, if I can do this right, we'll see. 
So we were originally with an amplitude of 2. That was our original sign. Can you see it? And then we phase shifted to the left um, a pi and a half. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Doing a little dance. Shaka, laka, shaka, laka. Cool. So that's phase shift. So in the dark green, so the dark green is actually our, our the dark green is actually our graph there, okay? Our correct graph. Cool. Okay, so let's try that again. So number seven now, we got to do some, um, let's see here, some distributing. Make sure we distribute that half through. Good. So then our new equation will be no amplitude, or just amplitude of one, rather. Amplitude of just one. Good. And then we have a sign. It's going to be one half x, so our b value is going to be a half, because we're distributing that half through, plus pi over two. Cool. Awesome. Um, so then we have a midline. So go ahead and put parentheses there. So midline of just plus zero. So don't have to worry about midline or the amplitude really. So we're just basically looking at the, the period and the phase shift. So the period itself will be 2 pi over b. The period will be 2 pi over b. So that's 2 pi over half. So then we'll flip and multiply, flip and multiply. Those cancel, leaving us with just 4 pi. Because 2 times 2 is 4 pi. So there's our period. Good. Now let's see what our phase shift is. So our phase shift now is going to take this pi over 2. Phase shift. We're going to take that, and instead of a positive, we're going to change the sign. I don't know if I sh really wrote the phrase last time, change the sign. So that's our phase shift. Change the sign, so negative pi over 2. And then you have to divide by b. So divide by b, where our b value in this case is a half. So it's going to be divide by b, a half. And then we're going to have to flip and multiply, flip and multiply. And so that will actually cancel those 2's, leaving us with just negative pi. Which is kind of funny, because really, that's just our original, but change the sign, huh? Negative pi. Cool. Might be probably something easier. I'm teaching too much here, but that's OK. Maybe if it's already pulled out, you can just use that probably. <laughs> but the opposite sign. Cool. So now this will be a little bit easier because we're just taking 4 pi and minusing it a pi. So let's go ahead and do 4 pi. Remember our five dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting off at 0, going to 4 pi. Well, it's half of 4 pi, 2 pi. And what's half of 2 pi? 1 pi, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. Red fish, blue, f what? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That's Dr. Seuss. We're teaching math. Oh, well, he's still probably like math, maybe, right? Rhyming. Cool. All right there. So now we're going to go ahead and take uh, the sine function, and we're not uh, amplifying it up or down or uh, midlining it. We're just doing the phase shift. So the original would just go up to 1, right, and negative 1, because we just have an amplitude of 1. And so our original sign will go at pi up to 1, and then down. Hey, you're not supposed to be connecting the dots. Okay, then we'll go down to 2 pi, and then 3 pi, and up to 4 pi. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take that phase shift now, which is negative pi. And so all those dots are just going to be shifted to the right one, right? So instead of finishing at 4 pi, we're going to finish at 3 pi. And so then, instead of coming downwards, um, instead of coming downwards in this direction, we're actually going to come downwards in this direction. And everything basically just gets shifted back one. Bam! So we're going to go ahead and uh, start off at negative one pi instead of zero. Sick, that's it! So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way because that's not part of our graph, but it was just showing you how we shifted everything to the left one for our phase shift. Now do remember that it does um, continue on, right? If we're going to draw arrows, that'd be smart. Because it does continue on the wave. Okay, last one, number eight for phase shifting. So for our phase shift for this one, that's going to go ahead and uh, have some lots of things going on there. So first of all, we are going to have a skinny amplitude of negative a half, just to challenge you. Or the amplitude is actually a half, but then this just means what again? Upside down. So we're definitely going to have to use 
our five numbers of cosine. Our midline is just one, not too bad, not too bad. Of just one. And then, ooh, so our B value is going to be a four, right? So our B value is going to be four. And so then we shift that through, we get a 4x plus 4 pi, because we multiply the 4 through over 4, so that'll just cancel, good. Okay, so let's find our period next. So our period is going to be, um, what's our period? 2 pi over b, so 2 pi over 4. And that's going to reduce to just pi over 2, nice. And then our phase shift we're going to go ahead and take that pi there, change it to a negative pi, right? Change it to a negative pi, and then divide it by b, which our b value again was 4. And so we're going to have a phase shift of negative pi over 4, which is just the negative sign of the opposite. Oh, I should just teach that. Okay. Since we pulled out the 4, it's just the, negative, the opposite sign of what's in there, pi over 4. Cool. Learn something new every day. Okay, here we go. So now our period, oh my goodness. So our period is going to be pi over 2. So and then we're going to minus the pi over 4. Okay. So let's go ahead and show that. And so we've got a period of pi over 2, 1 pi over 2, which is just a half. Cool. And then start off at 0. Good. So now we're going to half pi over 2 to get this one right here. And so that is going to go ahead half a pi over 2. Well, you take pi over 2 and you times it by half, actually. That's what we mean by half something, times it by half. And that's going to be our pi over 4. Okay, okay, we got this. That won't be too bad. So now we've got to go ahead and I'd probably um, do our parent function and then do the phase shift just to make sure we do everything right. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and take um, cosine, right, five numbers. So we start off, remember, at 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. And then we're going to go ahead and amp it up by multiplying by a negative a half, right, all the way through, if it lets me. So negative a half, let's move it up a little because it's being funky. We need more room. Okay, sorry. Here we go. Okay, so negative a half times 1 is negative a half. Negative a half times 0 is zero. Negative half times negative one is a positive half. Okay, okay, okay. And then zero, and then negative a half again. So that's our amplitude that we just applied through. Let's use a different function, or color I mean, for our midline. And so our midline, there it is. Whoa. So our midline is uh, going to get a hand to be to one. So we're going to go ahead, midline is just going to be 1. So now we're going to go ahead and just add 1, right? We're going to go ahead and add 1 to each of these. So 1 minus a half. Dang it, why you got to do that? Dang you. Okay, we found it, not yet. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it uh, moved on us. Okay, back where we were. So 1 minus a half then um, is just a half, positive 1 with a negative half. And then 0 plus 1 is just 1. 1 and a half is going to be 1 and a half, um, which is also the same as 3 halves. But I think in halves, 1 and a half would be better, 0 plus 1. And then 1 minus a half is a half again. Cool, so those are our y values of our parent function. So if we're going to go in and graph this sucker now, at 0, we'd actually start off um, at a positive half, right, at zero, we'd start off at a positive half. And then at this part, we'd go up to one, go up to one. Then we go up even more to one and a half, because this is two, so this must be one and a half. Then back down to one, and then back down to a half. So I'm going to put dots in between there, showing our cosine function there. Right, right. And uh, so that's our cosine function, upside down and only a half from 0 to pi over 2. Now we're going to do the phase shift. 
So as you can see, the phase shift is just going to be negative pi over 4. So that means to the left, pi over 4. And so that's just kind of, we can actually see that now, right? Right? So we're going to go ahead all the way over to here to negative pi over 4. Cool. So let's use a different color to show that now. Your favorite, booger green. Ugh. Okay, there we go. And so now we're going to start off here, right? Because we've gone to the left. So from 0, we've gone over to the left, negative pi over 4. And then we'll just do the same exact graph, kind of following what we did there. So this is going to come up here like this. And then it's going to go as high as a half. And then back down. We can do a solid line now, because this is our answer. OK, fine. And then finishing off there at pi over 4. So all we did was is we shifted negative pi over 4 an amount of negative pi over 4. Cool. So thanks for watching. That's phase shifting. Phase shifting. So then, awesome. So we'll do another video. Let me just see where we're at there. Yep, we'll do another video. Thanks for watching. Woo! Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.